Okay, well, you know, one of the things that I'm just going to throw it out there, and I know a lot of people are going to probably get triggered by this, mm-hmm. just based on the demographic climate of North America and what's been happening for the last few years. Mm-hmm. A lot of, because again, I, I don't know a female's perspective. I can only go by what I'm told by females, mm-hmm. as well as, and we're not we're not picking on genders here. We're not even if you don't identify. We're not playing that game right now. Mm. We're talking about just what one partner may want from another. It does not mm. matter which non-identified gender or ad gender or bina- none of that stuff. We're just talking about when one person wants something, they want to do something, and we're going to talk about it from the male female perspective because sure. that's typically what my male friends will ask me. Okay. Sorry that it took so convoluted, but everybody's so sensitive about how you approach the initial portion of a conversation. I hear from guys, it's so difficult to engage with women because I want this, but if it's the first scenario or the first step, whether Mm -hmm. it's asking someone out that first time having sex, Mm -hmm. where's that line with what's too aggressive, we'll call it. Mm. Because at the same time, I've heard women say, why aren't there any men anymore? Just ask me out, just throw me against the wall, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then guys are absolutely scared shitless about doing something like that Mm -hmm. because we're we're shot down in public because that's the movement is put men in their place. Mm -hmm. And I know we don't, I don't want to say it like that, like, like feminist approach, but just guys are just scared to approach women at this point because it's so terrible and then when you get past that point how would you explain to men to be aggressive to be assertive Mm. because that's viewed very differently right by the recipient you know um you know i say this a lot and um I'll, i'll probably say it a couple more times as well it's very situation specific and and partner dependent so what are your definitions of aggressive? What are your definitions of assertive, right? And some, you know, dynamics, some couple dynamics might have very different understandings of what that looks like. I think it's also important to acknowledge that if you are with a partner who is not maybe let's say naturally that way, chances of them opening up like a flower and being that way are maybe not so likely. I'm not saying it's impossible. It's not what I'm saying at all but not so likely. You know, if you want that like aggressive, assertive, like typical male partner, then that is the type of person that you should be looking for in dating. I frequently have conversations with couples about how we will initially really love something about someone. And that very thing that we love also contributes to maybe parts of that partner that we end up resenting or not liking or even being jealous of. Yeah. So I'll give an example of like, yeah, maybe you really love initially that your partner is so um, spontaneous. Yeah. Right? Uh, You love that they just kind of show up and surprise you and they're just, you know, kind of nomadic and and do all these fun things and you're so attracted to that. But now it's been five years and that characteristic of them hasn't changed. And now you're starting to resent it because they're maybe late all the time or they're yeah. they're quick to whim and you might not be that kind of person. And so it's it's interesting how the, the things that we might initially love about a partner um, or that we think we want in a partner can change over time because we're maybe not, again, having those conversations with ourselves. What is it that I want? What is it that I don't want? And I'm not just talking about the next five minutes. I'm talking about the next 10 years of my life. Uh, I'm trying to... I I could see that, yeah, because everything is fresh and exciting and new when you start a relationship and Mm -hmm. that heightens the experience. Mm -hmm. But then when the longer you're in a relationship, what's keeping... Not that it dies out, but you're always looking for the next... Not level up in a relationship, but kind of more commitment, more Mm -hmm. what are we doing as opposed to how are we individually working as a group. Right. It's what are we doing, we, 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 as Mm -hmm. opposed to you and I having fun. So I I could see that being a problem. Mm -hmm. 